Reading, writing, fill in the blanks is always a nightmare for me. Sometimes vocabulary is the problem, sometimes grammar I don't understand, sometimes I'm just stuck. I just don't know the real strategy, real approach. No matter how much ever hard I practice, this one module. There is not much improvement seen, Nakul. Do you have any video? Do you have any full course video for reading, writing, fill in the blank so that I understand the right approaches? Then trust me, this video is for you because today, in this video, I'm gonna unveil all the strategies that exist on the universe for your reading, writing, fill in the blanks. Make sure you watch the video till the end. Hey everybody, Nakul from Skills Pity Academic. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with it, another video. Today's video, as the name says in the title, reading, writing, fill in the blanks full course meaning each and everything associated with reading fill in the blanks sorry reading writing fill in the blanks beg your pardon will be discussed in detail in this video little lengthy video but i hope you appreciate the effort that is put in to help you understand more about the strategies um, to solve reading writing fill in the blanks before we begin if not subscribe to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button for the future notifications and any point of time you need online assistance you can text us to the number given there in the whatsapp we will be there to guide you help you in a right direction all right so what are we waiting for let's start with this amazing video and informative content let me just share my screen reading writing from the blanks the full code so something like this comes where each blank will be given four options to answer out of which one of them you need to select how to select there are varied number of things that we're going to talk about in just a while but before that reading writing fill in the blanks contributes marks to your reading and writing 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 my writing is 45 i use the working template and oh boss this module you have a problem it's time people understand the reality five six questions will be there 25 to 30 marks easily towards your reading and writing means double 30 to 60 marks it comes from this module towards your reading and writing all right so we have every reason to delve more into this module for the only fact that it contributes 25 to 30 marks towards your writing and 25 to 30 marks towards your reading as well all right basically how to solve the strategy which are multiple things i've just summed all of them into these four first is reading skills when you when your skills are good you tend to understand the context and find the clues based on the logic based on the clues you will find the answer today i've got a lot of questions in the end where i'll show you how to find the clues how to enhance your skills so that you get that answer quickly this is one of the methods one second sorry on that yeah this is one of the methods <coughs> other is you need to know vocabulary vocabulary plays a major important role here because a lot of words people don't know the meaning because of that they don't understand the context because of that easy peasy they will not be able to solve or 100 percent go with the wrong answer this needs to be developed today also we'll discuss more than some 30 40 words um just make sure you watch the video when you're completely free so that you make most out of it collocations also play a very very important role we will talk about many collocations today and this Grammar skills, tenses, subject verb agreement will be usually used. Active voice, passive voice. He is killed or he was killed or he killed. I repeat, he is killed or he was killed or he killed. This is active voice, passive voice. A lot of things, man. In our course, grammar itself around 20 hours separately, we will give you uh, complete understanding of. So any point of time you need the course, you can join. But yes, YouTube, internet, you can check out random grammar videos and understand things as well but here as well today we will start with the grammar skills and then come to this and this and this in just a while post that we will have a test using the concept that i talk about we will have a test in the end and see how many of you get good scores all right so let's start with the grammar things i made many videos literally many videos in grammar just type skills pt grammar videos you'll get more than five to six i think seven to eight videos you'll get today as well i'm gonna come up with few things few shortcuts first is after two if there is a blank verb in the base form only will come no verb to eat a gitu will not come i want to eat i want to sing after two if there is a blank ing will not usually come past tense will not come verb only comes something like i like to dash i like to eat i like to sing he wants to sing so this is what we're talking about after two 
there would be verb one very important rule applies even for reading fill in the blank shortcut number two let's go a bit quicker because we have a lot of things to solve today shortcut number two after ye or an singular noun only comes you never say ye boys you know a boy a pen an unexplained mystery an will come if there is ye i o u pronouncing sound article itself will take around one hour so i am not explaining in detail in this video a city a beautiful city so now a beautiful dash is there then you are option your eyes should only go to that option which has singular noun not a plural hope you are getting it simple ones easy peasy an and a uh, come for singular noun if there is a uh, and an dash then a, that should be a singular noun not plural noun be very careful shortcut number 3 after singular noun verb will have s what is this is subject verb agreement pay more attention a lot of fill in the blanks write from dictation listening fill in the blank reading fill in the blank essay summarize written text spoken text all of them mostly will be based on this one simple concept called subject verb agreement so what is a subject subject as a noun verb is an action subject and a verb pair up based on one rule what is the rule the rule is subject verb agreement the rule is buddy if you are singular noun then i will add yes to myself if you are plural noun buddy then i will not add yes to myself this is verb one this is verb with us the education offers great splendor of knowledge so now you have singular noun and dash then you need to go to that option which has s in it in the present tense by the way not in the past tense small things will actually help you do the things faster cities offer education offers hope you are getting it hope you are getting it we will go to the next one shortcut number 4 after has verb 3 comes he has eaten they have eaten they have developed they have killed getting it they have become he has given if there is a dash verb 3 verb 1 verb 2 verb 3 eat eat eaten give give given they have killed raj rita had driven drive drove driven hope you are getting it these are all the shortcuts keep these things in your mind note it down and when you try to solve whenever there is a chance apply all right shortcut number 5 after b e verb 3 will come after b adjective can come he wants to be good he wants to be killed <laughs> he will be killed it has to be cherished pay more attention so here after b we use verb 3 but he will be good to you adjective can also come like this there are thousands of things uh, not everything can be shared here but yes whichever is possible i'm sharing you here shortcut number 3 after c is he is he was they are they were i am i was is are am was were all this five is easy to remember don't memorize singular present tense singular past tense plural past tense plural present tense singular first person i am present tense is was were am are whenever this comes and if there is a blank mostly verb 3 comes it is killed it is divided pay more attention pay more attention verb 3 he is all grown up not grow not grew he is grown verb 3 will come so this is a rule mostly fill in the blanks will be based on this it is called it is known as verb 3 hope you are getting it then after he is was were are am ing can come he is running he is killed verb 3 he is running verb ing it is surprising it is a very exciting opportunity see it is exciting it is surprising it is killed so usually is was were or am verb 3 can come or ing can come remember this verb 3 ing verb 3 ing verb 3 ing don't forget verb 3 ing let's let's memorize verb 3 or ing verb 3 or ing most of the blanks will be based on this from my experience don't forget verb 3 or ing okay verb shortcut number 8 adverb ends in ly what is this adverb there is a noun and there is a verb the noun does some action called a verb the noun has a characteristic called an adjective noun is like he he is good good is his characteristic adjective he runs verb running is a verb now this first layer is noun second layer is adjective and verb 
third layer is adverb. Adverb doesn't connect with first layer noun. Adverb connects with verb or adjective. He is good. He is extremely good. He runs. He runs quickly. Hope you are getting it. Hope you are getting it. Hope you are getting it. So this is very very important. See he noun. It's verb. Extension of a verb is adverb. She is good noun. Adjective. How good is she? Extremely good. So adverb if you think oh adverb has to come let's say there is a blank here let's say there is a blank here we understand oh adverb has to come but adverb usually ends in ly then go to that option which is ly man simple easy peasy isn't it note it down very very efficient important rule shortcut number nine most important one of the always ends in plural one of the dash put a noun which is in plural one of the hotels one of the boys one of the cities one of the restaurants she is one of the greatest players player is wrong plural has to come it is one of the best restaurants plural plural one of the always in sent plural is one among the many i don't forget man golden rules you can do it like this if something like this comes in the exam Shortcut number 10 after has been, has been, have been, had been. All three gets applicable. Verb 3 comes. It has been stated here. It has been called as. It has been killed by. The file has been replaced. See now, has been stated. Has been replaced. After has been, ing can come. He has been waiting. There are multiple things like this, but whichever is possible. I have made an attempt, made an effort to share it here. Don't forget these things, write it down and whenever you come across them, identify. Observation is very, very important. Hope you are getting it. So once this is done, see they have been chased down by the police. Have been, has been, has been, ED, ED, ED. It's not exactly ED, it's verb 3. Okay, so that's about grammar and now we'll continue. We finished these grammar shortcuts. Now we will talk about collocations. So collocations are like eh, this man. It cannot be finished. It's very huge, vast. But yes, uh, whichever is possible, we will study. Just ten I have given here. Um, recently I made a video on um, collocations. Check that out. The link is in the description. Seventy collocations have shared, and also on how to implement. Here also some ten. Cast a glow. The sun is casting a glow on my skin cast a glow you need to come alive means get up and start refresh took my breath away her beauty <gasps> took my breath away means i was just baffled i was just gone <laughs> getting it took my breath away gentle breeze is a collocation mouth watering scent that fill the air the scent that fills the air bustling cities bustling alleys bustling streets means busy streets crowded streets the stage is all set. All right, Nakul, the stage is all set. Now you can come and talk here. Stage is dash set is a collocation. Anticipation is palpable, means intensity is more. Okay, for this video, people's anticipation, people's curiosity is more, is palpable. So anticipation, excitement, energetic scenarios, they're all related with the word palpable, means more. Hope you are getting it. Enthralled means captivated or impressed the audience. Nakul speech captivated the audience. Means audience was like, oh, wow, that's captivation. That's also supplemented by a word enthralled. E N T H R E D L L E D. Remarkable performance. Poor performance. You don't say good performance, you say remarkable performance. So these are the some of the collocations, but like this, man, there are thousands of them. We cannot have just a list and just memorize. So whenever you come across one, whenever you come across one, you need to identify. So the next question is how to improve collocations. So I have got a small activity here. Let's have a look at it. All right. So this is the chat GPT where it, I have asked it to give me a passage to read. Pay more attention, guys. Some people may find it boring, but this is the reality. How to improve collocation? See there, just, just stay there with me. Just stay there with me. The wind whispered through the tall grass, creating a symphony of gentle rustling. Symphony is music, melody. Gentle breeze or gentle rustling. Rustling is 
leaves are rustled. Correct? The sun, the setting sun, the sun sets is a collocation. Bathe the landscape in a warm golden glow, casting long shadows. Casting a shadow is a collocation. So the idea is you read and just observe, you retain. Like this, there are thousands of collocations in one line that stretched across, stretching across is a collocation. As I stood there, a sense of tranquility washed over me, calming my, calm your mind collocation. We'll just check one more paragraph. In the distance, somewhere over there, collocation, in the distance, a solitary means alone, standing alone, oak tree stood, tree that stood, collocation. Its branches reaching toward the sky like outstretched arms, outstretched arms, collocation. Its weathered trunk told stories of years gone by by witnessing the ebb and flow of season, the passing of time, passing of time is a collocation. I couldn't help but, I couldn't help but is a collocation, be in awe of the tree's resilience and unwavering presence. The birds darted through the air, collocation means they went like this. So like this, there are so many things, how to give a PDF. And even if you memorize, you don't retain. So read, understand its usage. Read, understand its usage because that's the only way to learn collocations. So whenever you come across one, identify them, learn them, probably can note it down. Getting it, I'm sharing you the right information. This is the way it is um, that you're going to learn collocations. All right. So now we have a small paragraph and now the test starts. Okay. So what do we do now is, I've got so many questions. We will start with a small question helping you understand how grammar, collocation and the context are being used together. Pause the video, try solving it and once you're finished, resume it to understand what is the correct answer. I really hope you have paused the video and tried doing it recently. Staff at Yellowstone National Park, euthanized, what tense is this? What tense? Present or past? Past. ED is there. Euthanized, a newborn. Bison is an animal. After visitor Clifford Walters dash to help, try to help, wrong, tried, now the grammar comes into picture telling you try is wrong, tried to help, tried to help is the answer, but tried is not there, supplemented is in addition, attempted to help, attributed to help, now it is collocation, attempted to help. Getting it, context also says he tried to help. So it's a conglomeration of mix of grammar, collocation, context, real approach. Hope you are getting it in this video. I'm trying to help you understand a bit more about the approaches. Try to pay more attention. Don't watch Netflix on the other side. Don't be in a call and just tell your friend, hey dude, I'm watching the video. Yeah, yeah, continue, continue. Don't do all those things. Getting it right because it's something important. Here you get that creep. Trust me, 90 overall is not very far from you. So here the answer is attempted to help, not try to help. And I'm pretty much sure many of you have written try to help. So basically, with this we understand it's not just about practicing. Yes, you need to practice. People join my course and our course goes in a different way. We don't ask them to practice at all. We don't give anything to practice first. First, we ask them to fix the approaches. There is a way out. We make them follow that. And three, four days, the approach is fixed. Then the practice starts. Correct? So here as well, people just practice in the websites, but you don't get the approaches there. No. I'm not against practicing, but practice with the right approach. So now you understood why attempted. Attempted is because of the grammar, collocation, context. Okay, we go to the next one. Your clue based on vocabulary. Here is where the reading skills and vocabulary are coming into action. Pause the video and do it. Once done, resume the video to understand what mistakes you've done, what approach you missed out. Unfortunately, a calf's behavior on roads and around people was unfortunately is the clue, which people don't see, man. They simply read, unfortunately, it's this. That means the calf's behavior, calf is like baby on uh, baby cow, let's say, on roads and around people was, unfortunately means it was not good. Confronting means face to face. Behavior cannot be confronting, collocation. Vocabulary, behavior can be hazardous or friendly. Friendly is wrong because of this, unfortunately. This is one more clue, like I told you, clue based, clue based, clue based. So, rangers means forest officers. A forest officer is coming means 
obviously the calves the animals behavior is not very friendly so rangers had to come the service said in a press statement rangers had to interrupt had to interact huh? rangers will come and say amba no man please don't write interact get the clue and get the vocabulary rangers had to intervene nakul intervenes meaning i don't know nakul that is a problem then how do you improve read that is the 100% final solution along with getting the clues like i told you here the clue is unfortunately and rangers because of this you gonna use the word not a friendly which is hazardous the second one rangers had to come rangers had to interrupt undertake interact implement no interrupt or intervene both are same so it's the clue and the vocabulary clue based and the vocabulary this is the approach hope you are enjoying the session we have so many questions um we take up a test finally for 20 marks four questions and trust me all four are difficult uh, they are not that easy because in the exam it going to be difficult especially this module that's the reason why people have low score in writing don't you guys think so but what we feel essay working template i have not used please please no this is the problem this will take time but people don't have patience what they think hey i'll change the template give exam give exam give exam one year over they still don't realize this is the reason why the scores of writing is less to the out of 20 i would need 17 or 18 if you need 79 and above in your reading and writing and i would need 13 to 14 and above if you need 65 and above for your reading and writing let's stick to this i'm going to show the question uh, there is a first question little tricky one there are clues by the way pause the video i can add the timer it will be two hour video otherwise pause the video do it and once you are done with it resume the video to understand what mistakes you've done all right i really hope you have paused the video and did it since 2016 something strange has been happening on the us east coast whale dash have increasingly been washing ashore nakul no clue nakul then then leave it empty man even i don't have clue whale what whale body whale fin no whale faces whale carcasses have increasingly been washing ashore means it is coming in that shore often in an advanced state of decomposition i will leave it empty that is the approach this time the dash doesn't seem to be a virus nakul still not understanding what is virus does it will play with us nakul it will play lot of games hide and seek with us no it will kill you getting it the cause of these deaths that means death has happened of whom whale now here whale dead body have increasingly been so i need the word dead body in the first one nakul fins is not dead body whale ruins do we say ruins is left over whale ruins we don't say feces you just check the meaning of it in the dictionary i don't want to reveal it here it's a carcass means dead body if i don't know the meaning of both one and two probably possibly you cannot do much at least three words you need to know and one word you don't know you can guess but two words you don't know the meaning then it's this or that this or that this or that yes you may have to choose unfortunately but is yes, the answer is carcass means dead body this time the dash doesn't seem to be a virus means the agent who kills the killer basically this time the dash doesn't seem to be a virus so with the dead body that we understood now the killer doesn't seem to be a virus this has to be the answer now killer has to come opponent is killer nakul a hey, opponent i say this opponent disagree opponent is a person who goes against you that's it he is not a killer conspirator means someone a spy conspiracy secretive agent nakul i didn't know the meaning then possibly will struggle here commuter nakul i don't know commuter you know he commutes from this place to this place one who travels is a commuter perpetrator is an uninvited guest perpetration so perpetrator is the one who has come there and try to do something so it's not conspirator answer has to be perpetrator this time the perpetrator doesn't seem to be a virus the the one who has caused this is not a virus it's a perpetrator is the word based on the vocabulary here carcass is the word which means dead body 
so when you have troubles in vocabulary then why are you only practicing every day you need to read novels because hey, that's the way out man isn't it so think about it now we will come here the cause of this death is debated with opponents of offshore wind farms recently claiming seismic surveys as well as the construction and operation of the wind turbines are dash the death are the reason for this death or are behind the death are behind these things what things wind turbines the construction sound and wind turbines probably are the reasons for whale death are behind this but scientists disagree look at this this is a pure context difficult one scientists disagree they worry that the political dash over wind farms if you if you keep thinking that it is wind farms wind turbine sound is causing the death of the whale if you keep thinking towards this direction perhaps you are in a wrong direction you are distracted from the real culprit real culprit is someone but the political discussion over the sound of the wind turbine being the culprit for Uh, the veil possibly can distract you so this is the context see here and they worry that the political dash over offshore wind farms could distract decision maker from holding the true culprits we will talk about the next one so here it is not crisis political crisis is different dilemma is confusion bias is intending towards one direction it is political debate political debate is this wind turbine sound is the problem for the whales that's a debate is happening is getting it it's a debate over collocation as well but just not the collocation we can go here it's the context the political debate over who is the culprit the debate is happening political debate is happening and these things these people are saying the problem is the turbine sound or wind turbine sound if you are thinking towards this direction perhaps you are distracting from there could distract decision makers from holding the true culprits collocation hold someone peep hold someone accountable collocations 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 so when you know these things in advance it becomes very easy but yes it's challenging because context and many more things are difficult but what comes easy will not last long and what last long perhaps will not come easy correct carcasses take out the meaning of it perpetrator behind this and then we have debate and accountable any doubts do leave a comment in the comment section and keep a track of the mistakes you have done total 20 we have got three more questions left all right we go to the next one keep a track of the mistakes you have done pause the video do it take your own time you want 10 minutes you can take but give your best find the clues don't go with your intuition don't go with your kidney heart and once you are done with it resume the video to understand the real approach and the answers all right there is no evidence to support dash that noise it's a continuation of the previous paragraph there is no evidence to support dash that noise resulting from offshore wind site characterization surveys could potentially cause the dash of whales there is no evidence to support the theory what is the theory that this wind site turbine are the reason for the death of the whale so we want an evidence to support the theory thesis is not a theory man thesis is a paper class action is not theory interrogation is not theory speculation means something you have speculated something you have thought of there is no evidence to support the speculation prediction hope you are getting it uh, the vocabulary plays a major role La last time a person texted personally in the mail saying you've been giving only simple questions can you give difficult ones so the answer is one video probably we are given we have given simple question the next video we have complemented it with some difficult questions overall you follow the channel walk through the practice things all the videos you would know the complexity that comes in the exam that's the idea all right so today we have made it little difficult there is no evidence to so support the speculation and also important role is elimination method interrogation is not the answer thesis is not the answer class action is not the answer and hence the answer will be speculation Hope you are getting it. There is no evidence to support speculation that noise resulting from offshore winds could potentially cause death of whales. Correct? And if you notice, for every question, I am trying to fill it on my own. I am not seeing the options, boss. 
you see the option psychologically you're bound gone i'm not seeing the option death i'm putting it on my own hand then now i'm seeing the answer death casualties death but casualties uh, resulting from accidents this is wrong fidelity is different brutality is a brutal behavior it's mortality means death right easy peasy all right of the corpses examined about 40 percent so now corpses means dead body wheels have been died the dead bodies are there and they are examining about 40 percent had evidence of a ship strike how this whales died there are plenty of reasons one of the reason is whale is here and coming like this big whale and the ship titanic comes and hits it and goes whale dies one of the reasons 40 percent had evidence of ship strike or how will whale die how will any fish die when someone puts that net it surrounds them that's called entanglement hope you are getting it so check the meaning of it entanglement tangle entangle is let's say i'm entangled means i have been you know put through one you know the net or something and i cannot come out of it because of which the fishes die actually abandonment is different impeach impeachment abolishment they're all different it's entanglement that goes with the word fishes okay the remainder were inconclusive so so far we have evidence of turbine sound ship strike entanglement uh, industrial fishing is another thread that can injure or kill whales as what fishing when you do fishing industrial fishing you want let's say uh, mackerel or a lot of fishes are there right tuna some industries want this and they're trying to catch and by mistake they catch um, the whale industrial fishing is another thread that can injure or kill whales as bycatch bycatch is a big concept wherein you don't intend to kill that fish you want some other fish but what this fish is notorious it just comes here and by mistake you catch bycatch by mistake by catch bycatch means sometimes you don't intend to do it and still by mistake you take it that's where um, sometimes you gonna kill whales hope you are getting it so bycatch is the correct answer here and then when an animal lives in a heavily polluted overfished area with lots of shipping vessels combination of these factors by catch ship strike and wind turbine sound or entanglement this dash impact makes our job as scientists or conversationalists really difficult all this first impact ship strike and then we have entanglement and then we have whales have been died by bycatch um, and we have a lot many things so so with the addition of this 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 will make our job difficult to identify what is the reason behind whale's death accumulation of all it's a cumulative effect cumulative impact accumulate is called a cumulative impact i'm not saying it is very easy but we could have solved it it is not rehabilitative impact introspective deliberative all have different meanings right cumulative impact bycatch entanglement mortality and thesis don't lose hope if you're getting zero and all but try to learn from the mistakes that you made it's basically the vocabulary that is causing you the troubles isn't it so so keep a track of the mistakes that you have done okay we go to the next one this is a little easy um pause the video do it and then resume the video to understand what mistakes you've done i really hope you're pausing the video the 1800s 8th 19th century were a time of extravagance some fashion in western cultures dash flamboyant feather hats 18s were a time of extravagance dash displaying the 18s were a time of extravagance it's the end of a sentence when it's an end of a sentence and you want to continue add a connector you don't want to add a connector put a full stop i don't want to put a full stop i don't want to add a connector hey, then use ing man the 1800s were a time of extravagance in western cultures displaying flamboyant attractive feathered hats and vibrantly dyed clothing 1850 1800 1801 that was a time where this hat and all clothing and all dyed clothing were a fashion um, were a time of extravagance in western cultures 
trending feather hats no trending is an adjective here verb has to come distinguishing feather hats now this movie featuring him means he is you know has a he has a main role in the movie so here as well flampa and feather hats and all the feature this time means they were a fashionable entity 1800s were a time of extravagance in western cultures featuring flamboyant feather hats and vibrantly dyed clothing and books were dash fashionable items they told about feather hats or fashionable items vibrantly vibrant means different colors correct dyed clothing were fashionable and continuation books were definitely certainly fashionable items cloth bindings the book will have a bind remember but cloth bindings were introduced as a cheaper dash to as a cheaper solution full stop as a cheaper alternative to leather leather were being used means you kill a goat or a sheep rather and then take its far the leather is prepared that the leather they will put for the binding it seems no man that's very costly so what they end up doing cloth bindings were introduced as a cheaper alternative to not solution to you never said this is a solution to is yes, alternative to here to leather means leather is costly so the alternative is this not cheaper solution to leather cheaper solution to a problem probably a cheaper solution to leather being very costly then it's correct otherwise cheaper alternative is a collocation but in the middle of century publishers started using highly desirable vibrant pigments like emerald green all right but whenever you see the but uh, it is opposite previous line says emerald greens vibrant pigments it's such a positive thing and now but obviously unfortunately a key ingredient was arsenic heavy toxic metal don't try it unethically we are not talking about ethics here it's just that the toxic material was used unfortunately that caused cancer and skin lesions among other ailments means diseases all right hope you don't have any doubts if you do have a doubts leave a comment in the comment section we'll come back at the earliest featuring certainly alternative to unfortunately that's it is it 1 2 3 4 yes the next should be six the last question keep a track of the mistakes you've done all right the last question we will go i think that's it yes the last question we have okay don't take more than 3 and 1/2 minute try to solve within 3 and 1/2 minute pause the video do it and then resume the video to understand what mistakes you've done all right let's start the books it's a continuation of the previous line the books are bound in green poisonous cloth there needs to be some abrasion abrasion is this this mark or something i have an abrasion here if you see that's an abrasion some scar or it has to be wet for the dash substance to actually pose a threat threat to get to is all a dangerous substance toxic metal that we saw it has to be in hazardous substance hazard hazardous is dangerous it is for this reason that museum staff take dash like wearing gloves they don't want that disease to enter so they wear so that means they are not preventing it rather they are taking precautions they are not curing it they are taking precautions take you don't say take preventives correct take precaution is a collocation they wear gloves to take the precaution so that the substance will not enter their skin and cause abrasion but the people making this dyed fabrics didn't have the choice they make their fabrics so they have to use it factory workers often suffered serious or severe injuries to their hands from repeated dash from repeated circulation cleaning wrapping exposure to that hazardous entity emerald green or something that we saw in the previous paragraph previous slide there was definitely dash that it is toxic okay now people get confused there was a recognition no you don't you're not recognizing it uh, perception means feel this is not a perception acknowledgement ah uh, hey this is a message to you uh, to check whether you have received the book other end i acknowledge i have received this is acknowledgement uh, this is not acknowledgement that people knew that 
you know it was toxic there's definitely dash that it is toxic there was definitely some awareness it's like tobacco people are aware that it is dangerous there was definitely some awareness that it is toxic awareness is the one i've explained the other meaning of it if you have a doubt do leave a comment in the comment section but the main driver was probably more fashion than the toxicity main driver means people were still people were you know being driven towards it people are still driving towards that particular entity even though they know even though they are aware it is toxic but main driver main attraction is the fashion all right arsenic based pigment pigments arsenic based pigments dash to be here is a noun arsenic based pigments pigments is a noun there here this is in there was definitely was everything is in the past we need a verb in the past tense continues is a verb in the present tense continue verb in the present tense continuous activity good activity is an adjective continued to be produced that's the only thing that fits in well into the 1900s that is 20th century until regulation put an end to manufacturing put an end to their manufacturing here there there here put an end to their car put an end to their rules there is the correct answer this is nothing but they are therefore is wrong hope you are getting it hope you are getting it so the answers are hazardous substance you take precautions not preventives exposure awareness continued and they are total 20 <laughs> all right so i would really want to know how many marks how much marks you guys have got so if you really have got less scores don't be ashamed of it do leave a comment based on your response i'll come up with a new video and increase the complexity or decrease it i would request you guys to please 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 do comment and also let me know how you like the video and um, yeah if you like the video please do give an appreciation because it takes a lot of um, effort to produce some content content something like this all right guys so with this i'll park it here thanks much for your time really really appreciate it anytime you need online assistance you can text us in the whatsapp for the number given there please whatsapp us and um, and if not subscribe to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button for the future notification this is nakul signing off from skills pt very soon i'll be back till then take care bye bye thanks much